but the independence and security of a country appear to be materially connected with the prosperity of manufactures. Every nation ought to endeavor to possess within itself all the essentials of a national supply. These comprise the means of subsistence, habitation, clothing, and defense. Report on Manufacturers, 1791. Alexander Hamilton, Secretary of the Treasury. I uh, just have some questions regarding manufacturing. Right. As you know, we're going to be working with, uh, we're working on a project, Show Me Manufacturing, uh, working together with different sponsors to help bring students and the younger generation in on manufacturing. And uh, we just need to know a little bit more about the manufacturing field and how it is now. Right. What, what precisely do you do? Uh, I am assembly line. I uh, work in an automotive plant of United Auto Workers. Uh, just on the assembly line, chassis line. If you want to be more specific. So you you create auto auto uh, chassis or I'm, I'm one of about four thousand people. We put each one of us puts individual parts on a, a frame or they call it chassis that comes down the line. And as it goes down, we we keep putting more parts on until you get a finished product at the back. No. Uh, what what actually drove you? to manufacturing? Well, you know, it, I shouldn't say what exactly drove me to manufacturing. I've always been hands-on. I like to work on cars. I like to build models. I like to do all this stuff hands-on. I wasn't really looking for a job where, okay, I sit behind a computer or I, you know, do this. Or I, li I like to be up and active. I like to be doing stuff. I like to be hands-on. So when the job kind of rose, I'm like, okay, I'll you know, put in a resume for that and got hired on. kind of turned out to be the thing for me.